Apex, I can't really spin the circles, can I? Apex Nation, welcome back to some more Dragon Quest Builders. Hope you guys are having a great day. Look at this. This is all like, I need some work, man. All right, so last episode, we uh, found ourselves on this boat. We jumped off twice. They won't let us leave. And now we're learning how to build. We built some torches. We have first person mode, which is nice. Whee! But okay, let's talk to this guy. Well, if this isn't the so-called builder, anyone think you own the place? The way you're strutting around the deck? What's with the attitude? You're running errands for the boys on the captain's orders. And you, oh, that was a captain? Oh, that's why he sits at the table. Makes sense. And you want me to give you a job to do? Tell you what. Can you help me relieve the boredom of being stuck on this good-for-nothing ship as long as you're not afraid to put your lives on the line? <laughs> Truth is, I've always wondered whether builders can fight. How do you feel about going mono-mono -mono with a monster? Oi! You! Fancy taking a swing at this kid? Just try not to kill him, eh? <laughs> Alright, hey! Stop it. Alright, better put them dukes up. I warn you though, that skeleton soldier's a proper head case. Come and find me after the fight's finished. If you can still walk. You want some? That's right, you got zero. Uh, that's right, you got one. Ow! Hey! That's right, what you got now? Nothing on me, huh? Get! Go! He's not. Okay, he's defeated, not killed. Well, you're a better boxer than you look. I'll give you that. Still, only one thing those pathetic punches of yours hurt was my pride. Don't think I should be surprised. You're pretty bony for someone who claims to be a builder. It doesn't exactly bode well for your future career, does it? Lucky, you don't have a future to speak of at all. <laughs> all right, off with you. Go tell the Boston what a weakling you are. Hey, I kicked his butt. Uh huh. You fought like a cow's cavender, ca cadaver. You builders really won't cut out for combat after all. What's that? You would have smashed him to smithereens if you had a weapon. <laughs> a likely story. You're going to bash him upside the skull with one of those torches. You're such a wizard whipping up. Don't make me laugh. I'll burn. Ah, what's that book you got there? I'm thinking. I have thought. I've got a new recipe. Cypress stick. A broken branch witted to work as a weapon. Don't just stand there smirking. Tell me what's so funny. You, you what? You worked out how to make a cypress stick? Well, I never. Are you telling me that builders can invent things as well as make them? Well... Don't just stand around looking glorious. Put your money where your mouth is. Gormless? Groom Gormless. I have no idea. You make this cypress stick then. You know where the workstation is, right? Yeah, I do. And one more thing. Once you made it, don't forget to equip it. A weapon's no use otherwise. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for giving me the advice. Is it just wood to make that? Ooh, it's not a stick. It's a wood. Make it. <laughs> Wait, what? Why does it go there? Interesting. Okay, so I don't have an equipment bag. Hey -ya! Hey -ya! I said hey -ya! The boy genius returns, cypress stick in hand. Now you really look the part. What do you say, fancy another crack at that old bag of bones? <laughs> now that you got a weapon? Oh yeah. He he he, that's a spirit. I want to watch the rotter try to put himself back together once you're through with him. Oh, you're expecting me to win, huh? Get up! That's right. Yeah, that's right. You get a compound fracture. Don't get up! Uh, a bone crushing the fruit. I don't. I don't. I don't I can't. I, no, I lost his voice. I don't know if I can pick myself up after that one. Go on then, lad. Go. And brag about beating me up to the bosun. 
I'm gonna chuck to your butt. I did it! Well, you certainly gave that bag of bones a good hiding. Just look at the state of them. The only thing he's good for now is feeding a dog. I need some meat on his bones to feed a dog. You what? You feel a bit sorry for him? No. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a new one. I'll wager no human ever shed a tear for a monster before. Just don't look. Just don't think you better. You butter me up. You can butter me up by a tickle on my funny bone. I'm gonna smash it. Anyway, thanks for that, Builder. It certainly helped pass the time, if nothing else. I even think I learned something today. You builders are useless in a fist fight, but with a weapon in hand, you're not to be sneezed at. But you're not done for the day, just not yet. Not by a long shot. I've got a feeling in my bones there's someone else on board who needs a helping hand. Ooh. You? Nope. Get up! Can't kill him. He still can't make that jump. Hey, do you want me to fix this? My, my, you have been busy, little boy, haven't you? First you made those torches, and now the cypher stick. But one could hardly call them themselves a builder without one's tool of the trade. Where are yours, builder? Do you even have any? Yeah, yeah, I do. Liar, the only thing you're carrying is a cypher stick. You haven't a single tool upon your person. Got a backpack? Well, I think we had ought to do something about that, haven't we? I confiscated this pair of gloves from the builder in the brig below decks. Now they are yours. With these equipped, you'll be capable of hoisting up a whole host of objects without the need to smash them first. Ideal for organizing your articles in an ordinary fashion. That is awesome. So, without further ado, take your new go-found gloves, gather up all the barrows, strewn higgly piggly around the deck, <laughs> and place them on the mat beside me. I get it. Dude, we got gloves! Hey. High five! Oh, actually, that might be a good screenshot. Mark that. Pick up stuff and plonk it down. I'm gonna plank. We're all gonna be plinking. Uh, press ZR to pick up something. Press Y or when you're holding something to rotate it. Oh, or put it in. Okay. Are you ZR? You're ZR. So, Y is to rotate? No, what? You said Y is to rotate. Oh, look at that! That's cool. Blech. Blech. Wait, what are we doing? We're plonking? Are we plinking? What are the guy we doing? Plink. Plink. Look, boost. I'm doing it. Oh. Plink. Get out of the way. No, don't run. Woo! I can do it. Plink. Did I just thrust up in the air without any. Does that count? Does that count? That one count? That one counted. Oi! 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 That is not a good animation! <laughs> okay, I'm not- I'm not gonna- Nope, not gonna do it. Wonderful work! Six perfectly positioned barrels. I'm sure you'll agree that that pair of gloves is an indispensable tool for any button builder. I was under the impression that the youth of today were nothing but a swarm of work-shy wastlers. Waste, wait, wastlers? But based on your suing, showing, just how, just now, god dang words, I may have reassessed my stance. Alas, no matter of blood, sweat, and tears you shed in servitude will always be a builder, the eternal enemy of our exalted order. I fear your time among us will be but short, but your fate is not for me to decide. That is your captain's responsibility. Complete. It would appear you have attended to everyone's errands for now. Hurry along and inform the good captain that you require some more backbreaking chores. Capitan! I'm here. But not bad, not bad at all. Looks like you've done everything the lad asked of you. 
Nice to see a human working his fingers to the bone for us monsters without a word of complaint either. I'm silent the protagonist. If I don't, if I doubted it before, I'm certain now. You actually, look, you actually like this sort of thing. You're a proper weirdo, you know that? Well, I mean, it's not a bad thing. Still, I want to be satisfied until I hear it from the horse's mouth. So, to speak, do you enjoy building things? Yes. Ha 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 ha, of course you do. It's what gets you out of bed in the morning. I can tell from the look on your fleshy face. You've got all the makings of a master crafter. And that's why we can't let you live. I give him a different voice. Uh, well, what's with your builder being our mortal enemy and everything? I can't exactly have you running around bow to stern. Building like Billy Old, can I? Whoa, everyone just turned and looked at me. I'm sorry to say, kid, but I'm going to have to sever that smile and skull from your shoulders right now. Run. Run! <gasps> Dots. Ha <laughs> ha Just tickling your ribs. Don't look so scared. I'm not really going to lob your noggin off. Well... As long as you stay on my good side, that is. After all, I wouldn't want to lose a willing worker like you. I reckon you got a, you got what it takes to be a cracking little cabin boy. And what's more, I'll cut to what? I like to cut out, cut off. I like to cut off your jib. Dang it! What do you say, laddie? Will you join my skeleton crew? Can I answer that? You don't have to say anything. I can tell you're all. You're okay. I'm just gonna talk normally. I can tell you're too overcome with joy. To thank me now. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that big book you're lugging around? It's mine. You can't have it. I've never think, ever seen anything like it before. What's happening? Ah, where did this rain come from? Wah! You'll have to tell me later, laddie. Looks like another storm rolling in. Bye. Where are you going? Ah, uh, an apprentice builder. You will do nicely. I pressed it. I pressed it. Three times. This is your world to create and yours to destroy. Three times again. I guess I just gotta wait. Yep, there we go. Now... Come to me, my child. <laughs> Run! Oi! Coffeeus! What are you gawking at? Didn't you hear me? I told you to get your flashy run below deck and hold on into the hold. It's far too dangerous for you, lava lunker and lover like you. Freedom! No. Okay, we'll go under. Thrust. Hey! Ooh, what an awful storm! I've never seen the ship shake in thunder, so... If you're looking to hide in the hold, it's just to the end of the corridor. Hurry, builder! Or this chat might be your last! Run! Wow, what the heck's going on? That sounds like a battle. Sounds like something big out there. C -c 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 Captain! Slurp! Wait, oh, this is the gooey guy. Come to the hole quickly! We're in deep. C -c -c go down here. Blind me! I don't like the sound of this. Hold on tight. I'm on way. Hey. Hey. You all right there, builder? Eck. But I can't just be stopping here and help some human. I've got to get a hold. Into the hole, I said. Get up. Get up. Harrigan, preserve us! This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, Builder! Get your body backside in here, Pronto! I need your help! Voices are all over the place. Accents, voices, whatever I'm giving them. All over the place. Oh, you guys can't see that. I've got a shtick equipped. I just realized that. Over here, Builder! Hey, um. Uh, indoor pool! It's an upgrade! You have an indoor pool now, man. I see nothing wrong with this. 
What? What took you so long, eh? I've got a bad news builder. We've been swept right into the reef and the rock's been cleaned through the hull. I don't know fix this fast, so we'll be heading out to the JB Dome's locker. I don't know if you work, but try cramming a crate into the hole. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Oh, I have done it! Fear me. That was close to shade than I like, but you did it. You saved my... Oh, throw me a bow. Not more holes. There they are. Ooh, that was cool. Ah! We're taking on Moata. It's a little dark, isn't it? You've got to do something. Use some more crates to plug those holes. But this is my number puzzle. The rest. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, you can climb up water. Water elevators, check. I have done it! Fear me! You're a lifesaver, Builder, or no? I owe you one. But our running with that rock has made mince me to my hull. The next wave that hit us could. Oh, come on, man. Ah! I knew it! It's a race against sign, Builder. Cram some more crates in those holes and hurry. Got it. I've got it. Don't worry. I got this under control. It's all under control. Don't worry about it. But you'll regret not having an indoor pool. Go nice. I mean, below deck indoor pool. I mean, come on, man. Even Luffy would be jealous. Hey, I did it. You showed up my ship good and proper, Builder. I don't know where we'd be without you. I mean, I only got three blocks of my number puzzle left. She'll hold for now. But who knows how long. Ah, oh, throw me a bone. We're done for. Woo! That's, ooh, look at all the stuff I can grab. Holy moly, look at that one. We don't have any crate big enough to plug a hole up like that size. Uh, nope. This is it, Builder. It's nice knowing you. Don't forget me, Builder! Whoa! Cutscene. Ooh. I should disappear for cutscenes. Dude just got decapitated. That was cool. I like that. That was awesome. Too bad that's probably the only scene we'll ever get. Long loading screen.
Loading screens are really long. Holy crap, they're long. It's not even moving. Move. 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 No. That was a long loading screen. Apex awakens on a sandy shore. It seems he washed up on a desert island along with the wreckage of the skeleton ship. He decides to take a look around to see what you can see. Water. Land. Water. <gasps> Is that my map? Bird's eye view. Whoosh. Ooh. Oh, view map? What? Dude. Dudes. Dudes. That's good stuff. We have a freaking map. I want. I want. I want. Oh, wow. Do I know any moves? I don't. Oh, I can break the cracked ones with a cypress stick. That's cool. It's a little laggy. Oh, I mean, do you guys see that? It's like I hit it. Oh, okay. Well, at least the cracked things. We need the kelp for food. Okay. We'll see it up here. Like, when I hit this stuff, they're there, then they disappear. It's a little laggy. But dang, dude, we got wood. Ooh. Seaside sand. Again, we need the kelp for the food. Ooh, what's this? Can't grab it. Chest right there. I also want this barrel, which is wood, right? Yep. I like how we slow we swing really slow into water. Suddenly, Apex hears a voice. There's nothing here. The whole place is deserted. Where was this place anyway? Where is this place anyway? How did I even get here? The voice seems to be coming from the other side of the rocky outcrop. Apex might be able to dig through the sand to get to the other side. I kind of like that our weapons have no durability. I believe I'm a fan of that. It's kind of like a... Not too sure if I'm a fan of it, but I think I'm a fan of it. It's one of those things you're like, yeah, I don't gotta waste materials on making weapons and all that. Yeah, I love it. But it's like, kind of takes away a part of it, but I don't know. So, I have done it! Isles of Awakening, the land of infinite opportunity. Do, do, do. Ooh, that's cool up there. Quest marker. Gets up. Can I pick it up? Holy crap! Yeah! yeah. A strong boy. The sky's such a strange cooler. Have I died and gone to heaven? Or hell? More likely. Huh? What's that noise? Hey, Spikey! Who the heck are you? I uh, finally, a lively one, eh, say? You wouldn't happen to know how we wound up here, would you? You were on a ship that sank, and then you woke up on this beach. So, you, so how come you don't crack, what? So how come you didn't cark it too? What, what's your story? Your name is Apex, and you're an apprentice builder. Huh. Never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. Ooh. So they don't know about builders. Anyway, my name is Malroth. Malroth. The evil guy that all these 
monsters are building a shrine and loving you. Okay? Hey, you want to see something really gruesome? Follow me. You took a long path to get there. What's the matter? You're not squeamish, are you? Come on. You won't be disappointed. I'll get there. I'll get there. It's food for me to collect. I want this other stuff, too. I want all the stuffs. Over here! Working on it! Oh, there's a lot of dead people over here. Yep. There's a lot of dead folks. Now that's what I call dead in the water. Bet you never seen anything like this before. It seems like you and me are the only survivors from the shipwreck. You were on the ship. What's that? You don't remember seeing me on board? No, I don't remember seeing you on board. But if I wasn't on the ship, then how did I? Cough. Splutter. What the? Hey, that girl isn't dead after all. Sounds like she's in a pretty bad way, though. We should do the right thing and put her out of misery. Or help her. Mara. You and I? Gonna have a talk, but first. Hi. Is that the Ocarina of Time? Or Mega Man's Blaster Cannon? That's a slime. Ugh. Gasp. Hey, how's it going? Where, where am I? How did I get here? Ah! You, you, you're pirates, aren't you? Filthy, freebooting, bricky guns who shall take me captive and demand a ransom for my safe return? Wah! Bye. Have a good one. There she goes. She's got a mouth on her, hasn't she? There's only one way to make sure she shuts up for good. Mind if I do the honors? I do my- Ha <clears throat> <laughs> ha. Get squished. Get squished. Get squished. Food. Food. Okay, I'm not collecting everything on the beach. Hey. Oh, look. It's gonna look like a little house symbol on there. There's a builder's bench. There's this stuff. I guess we're making this to our first little home. Hey! G get away from me, you villains! You're going to take me captive and at last, at least tell me where we are and how I got here. Well, you're on an island with nothing on it but sand, rocks, and a few corpses to keep us company. You must have washed up here with Apex when your ship sank. J just a moment. Do I know you? Yeah, I talked to you. Yes, I remember. You're that builder from the ship. The one who ran around grinning while those horrid monsters barked orders at you. I know you were in cahoots with them, so that means this is all your fault. Well, what are you going to do about it? You're, you're going to make the things we need to survive while we wait for a rescue party? Oh, well, alright. Even a rank amateur like you yourself would should be able to use that worn out workbench outside make the most basic essentials. I'm Lulu, by the way. What we will need to hold out until the help arrives. Let me see. Lulu's demands. Well, oh, that's cool. We'll need shelter from the elements while we wait to be rescued. I'd rather not die of explosion before then. The walls must be at least two blocks high, and we'll need a door for getting in and out. Why not use this old shack? It's rather worse for wear, but I'm sure you can fix it up in the place. We can salvage some of the decking from the wreckage and patch up any holes. Just use those gloves of yours to pick up, and you won't have to worry about splinters that way. Ooh, I like the little pictures. They're cool. We have no idea how long it takes for the search party to locate us. So, who says there's a search party, by the way? So, we'll need to find enough substance to tide over us until we're rescued. There's bound to be a... Scaly Winkle 
or two on the seashore. They're edible as long as you give them a good grilling on the bonfire first. You'll need some wood to build a fire. Lucky for us, there's plenty of pieces of driftwood and broken barrels from the shipwreck laying around. You might as well put them to use. And now, I can't be expected to put my head down off for a night on these lumpy old rocks. I need a proper bed if I'm getting my beauty sleep. I don't imagine you're capable of building four posters, so we'll have to make do with three piles of straw bedding. Place them in the room when you're done. Hey, don't start telling us what to do, bossy boots. Who made you the leader here anyway? Oh, pipe down, you nethanderol. 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 The word is not working right now. <laughs> you don't even have the common decency to wear a proper shirt. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't think you're impressing anyone with those oh-so-mighty muscles. Say that again, I'll show you how mighty these muscles are. Oh, Builder, there are these little favors for me. Do it. Will you do these little favors for me, won't you? You'll save me from the salvagery. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> That's wonderful. I knew you'd do exactly as I asked. You can consider these little tasks as training exercises if you like. Then, when you become a full-fledged builder, you'll have me to thank for it. Training exercises. Who does this girl think she is? Remember what I said before about putting her out of her misery. How about we put her out of our misery instead? Let the mission begin! Alright, we'll do this mission. Alright, make a run. Why are you following me? That girl really gives me the hump. Phrasing? First, she won't stop wait What? Wine wine Wangadin? No, is that Wyandin just spelled weird? Then the moment she wants something done, she's barking out orders like we're her servants. Don't let her boss you around, okay? You're a builder at the end of the day, not her lackey. Yeah, yeah. I know she's straight in here too, but that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be such a sloppy. Sloppy sad case. Listen, I help people, it's who I am. She's a castaway at the end of the day, same as us. You gotta look up for number one. That's my motto. I'm gonna smack you beside my cypress stick. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask. You know you said you were, I knew, you knew, you know you said you were a builder. Is that like something to do with a duck's nose? Sometimes. Well, whatever this builder business is all about, I'll help you out. But only so I don't have to hang around with her. Have you decided which of Aaron's do first? If it's up to me, I mend those walls while we're here. Just stuff those some planks in the holes. Hey, and hey, Presta, you were bu you buildered, you buildered. I like that word, buildered. You buildered, buildered, buildered. I like it. I'm gonna use that in my everyday language. Presta, you buildered ourselves a brand new room, right? To be honest, I blanked down the rest of her request. Speak to her again if you need a reminder. Aren't we supposed to have a light source also? Nope. Give me that back. I gotta get used to the new buttons. I like this so much. Just being able to pick up everything I want. So not easy with a thrust in. I've done it. Give me. Room. Apex. Apex. You repaired my room. Our. Now I have somewhere to hide safely should monsters attack. Not a bad for a base apprentice. I can show you they can get in. Just so you know, a room must have a door and walls at least two blocks high. That's the first rule of rooms. Anyway, I've never been so happy to have a proper place to stay. And the two of you are very welcome to stop by anytime you like. Uh, excuse you. This is our room. I kind of see what you say, Mal Malroth. Well, she seems pretty satisfied with her new room. Right. Next up is dinner. She wants to cook some of those scaly winkles things in the bonfire, didn't she? Is that something you can do? Hmm. I have an idea. Scrub, 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 scrub. Yeah. Bonfire. A big bundle of branches that burn brightly can be used to cook food. 
What's the deal with that book? Huh? You just invented bonfires, and now you can build one if you have enough materials? All you need to do is put together some wood and oil on that worn-out bench. Well, if it's all you need, I can give you some. I'm wrong with the slight. Yeah, that got in my way earlier. Ha ha ha. I told you you get squished. I told you. Alright. All you need now is wood, and that girl said you got some driftwood and barrels on the beach. Do whatever you need, man. Anyway, better get that bonfire built. No use to her starving. No use starving her. It only put her in even worse mood than she already is. But. What are you doing? Cool! Thanks, man! You just, like, got me all that stuff for free! That was awesome! Bonfire. Build. One. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it took three more oils! Hey! Here we fire. Put it right here. That's what you made! It's hot as heck! And it spits and crackles! It must be a bonfire! But if you, uh, sure you know what you're doing with that, you know, you're not supposed to play a fire, right? Listen, I can play whatever I want. Oh, yeah, when you go get Scallywinkles. Scallywinkles. Do you know where Scallywinkles are, dude? Because I don't. I see Scallywinkles. What the? Hey, Apex, I want to ask you something. What up? Keep hearing about making and materials and builders. What does that, any of that actually mean? You, you smash things, you find here, and then you go get there and get materials. Which you use to make new stuff. That's what being a builder is all about? Oh. <sighs> okay. I think it's time to get a clear picture of what you guys do. How come I don't know already? Look, there might be a, might be ten a penny where you come from. But I'm telling you, i never met a builder before. <laughs> well, not that I remember anyway. When I get my memory back, I'll tell you all about my blissful, build-a-free childhood. Don't ever get your memory back. In the meantime, if you need to help a hand smash and stuff to get materials, then I'm your man. I'll destroy pretty much everything I touch. You know those skellywinkles Lulu was asking for? There might be some knocking about nearby. Let's keep our eyes peeled and bang for ourselves. Get them! Dude, you don't Naruto run. What's wrong with you? I did it! What's that funny looking thing you got there? A shtick? It wouldn't be one of those, uh, skellywinkles, okay. That girl was jabbing around about by any chance. Well, it smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate one of them raw, we'd be chucking up chunks till the break of dawn. And that'd be something I'd rather avoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! Ooh, the slams. Whee! It's up. More food for me. Oh, what's this giant log? Ooh, not breakable. Alright. Oh, there's another one right there. Whee! Whee! I do like the fact that we can run faster. Uh, I'll cook him on the bonfire. Hey, get out of the way! What the crap are you doing? Oh! Oh, that's different! You place him on the fire! Oh, that's cool! Cook. That is different! Careful, Apex! The skilly we could just fell, fell on the fire! Ah! Uh, that must mean. That must be how you cook it! So, builders can make food too, eh? Still, it'd be a little while to that Skylarwink is completely cooked. Let's go look for some more materials while we wait. What? Food takes still time to cook. Just try to be patient and be ready before you know it. Oh, uh, I don't like that. Oh, that's annoying. That's how food is made now? Oh, that's really annoying. Whoa! Sniff, sniff. <gasps> that aroma. Is that the smell of a suckingly seared skeletal? I must have it. My 
first one, like, I, I would have liked to eat my first one, but yeah. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Ah, the scent of the seaside combines it perfect with a gravelly crunch of the sand grain. Simply irresistible. You ate sand. But you don't have your, to limit your culinary repertoire to scallywinkles, you know. If you see anything else that looks at a very vaguely edible, try cooking it on the bonfire. <laughs> I find a cooked meal much more filling than raw flair. It makes you feel healthier too. Just remember that cookery isn't all about is all about experimentation. All right. Well, now you're gonna teach me about uh, beds. Oh, how rude of me! I just realized I never asked your names. Apex and Malroth, you say. I know you're a builder, Apex, but what do you do, Malroth? Well, I'm. Actually, I don't know what I do. I woke up on this island, but I can't remember anything. Before that, my memory's completely blank. Well, 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 my apprentice builder and his amnesiac, amnesiac friend. What an unexpected partnership. Oh, we're not partners. But you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like him? You must be dreaming. Yawn. Speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel real. I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long, stressful day. And that seared skylywinkle has filled me up nicely. Oh, Apex, how's our uh, progress going on with the straw bedding I asked you to make? I'm really, really ready to hit the hay. Hmm. I have an idea. Yay. Yeah. Straw bedding. Basic bedding made from dried weeds. Plonked in a pile. Kept me slept on. Here we go. He's got his book out again. What have you invented this time? Is that so? You reckon you can make straw beddings out of dry grass? Well, I think I saw something dry and grassy along the shore to the west. Could that be what you're looking for? I don't know. Possibly. Any dry grass. Can I save this game at any time? I can! Oh, that is snapshot mode. What? Oh, that's cool. They'll look up at me. <laughs> How do I zoom? Angry people. Oh, they're sad. <gasps> they don't know what this is. is. that as far as I can zoom? Go forward. Where are you going that way? Sharp shot. What? No. Sharp shot. I don't know what that is. I don't like the fact that I can't really go anywhere. Hmm. Not a huge fan of this. Like, I don't understand. Like, why am I going up? Like, I want to go that way. Or, like, I have to move this way? Like, oh, you have to move, like, side to side. And you only go a certain distance. Huh. Okay, but I can't hide. Oh, character display. Ooh, okay. Angry, sad, surprise, serious, normal. Okay, that's cool. All right, but that's going to do it for today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. We had an experiment with that. Ooh. Blah, 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 blah. <gasps> Ooh, water effects on the camera. That was cool. Hi. But yeah, uh, we're just starting off. 
we're going to get there eventually, but I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button and show your support if you're new and you haven't subscribed for more content. Feel free to share this video and comment down below. And until next time, I'm Apex Reaper. You all stay positive. Thanks for watching. Afraid of the dark? Are you scared?